Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my long-awaited room tour. I have been in this house for about a year now and I just finished the room of like my dreams. I've kind of been working on it for over the past year and it you know it used to not really look quite right to me so I've kind of been working on it and I think I really took a dive into decorating my space and investing in it um, because I'm going to be working from home for this next year in a big girl job so I thought it would be the perfect time to invest in some pieces that were a little expensive but also going to be with me for a long time and also because this is a rental space I definitely wanted to get a lot of pieces that weren't like destructive to the walls and everything but were still really cute and and could still feel really homey and cozy so today I'm just gonna take you through my room and the pieces and talk a little bit about some of my design choices but yeah today is my little room tour I think the vibe that I was going for this room was definitely very like foresty nature vibes I have recently been obsessed with green especially sage green it's like my favorite color ever and I definitely think that came through in my design choices and the colors that I use in this room because I love sage green um, and I've been buying a lot of clothing with sage green as well so I just decided to kind of use that as the palette for my room I'm really into pinks uh, like fuchsia or even like 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 dark pinks and light pastel pinks and how it plays off of green so my room is kind of like that colorway a little bit green and pink is the main color scheme but I like all colors I am a very colorful person as you can probably tell from some of the clips so a lot of these you know decor pieces and a lot of the prints and everything I have in my wall is just very colorful so I'm gonna stop talking because I really just want to go through the room with you um and yeah So when you first come through my space, this is what you see. This is the sleeping area and right here is my door. So this is my bed. I got it when I moved in and I got it from like Facebook Marketplace or something. Um, these sheets, the duvet sheets and the pillowcase is from Urban Outfitters and I just really was trying to find something as loud as this piece and I usually don't spend a lot of money on like furniture and stuff. Usually I'll like thrift it or Facebook Marketplace but I could not let go of this sheet that I was like so obsessed with um, So as you can see right here, we have some fun pillows. These pillows are from Jungalo, I believe I'll leave a link down below to like everything that I mentioned in this video But these pillows I got at a little boutique in Woodstock, New York And I brought them with me all the way to Minnesota And then we have my little boba plush That is from my partner who got it for me as a gift And then we have a little side table from Ikea with which just has my book and my water bottle on it and then that there is my closet and then right here behind the door if you can see there is a bookshelf here and I'm gonna step like right here um, and this bookshelf was a from my friend who moved away and she let me purchase it and it's a really nice like kind of like standing invisible bookshelf and I love it because it gives me more space for my books but it also looks super classy and fits behind this door because this room is quite small so I wasn't able to fit like a lot of furniture but i'm really glad that i could fit this in because it just looks so nice and i love the way it looks okay moving on to this side of the room so right across from my bed looking out from my bed is my little what i call like my media wall if i had a tv this would be like my media console but i don't watch tv um so this is my little wall here filled with like my books and a lot of art that i've collected this really gorgeous wallpaper that i got from amazon um this like pastel checkered sage green wallpaper that I am obsessed with and it was like a bitch to put on but I kind of this is like my favorite space in my entire room because of how it is curated featuring just a lot of art and a lot of the things I love these bookcases were from Facebook marketplace but I believe they're originally from Ikea and they're just like they do the job you know they get the job done they're not like the best best quality bookshelves um but I have a lot of candles on here I have all my cameras I have my DSLR my film camera cameras and then this little like cubby fake thing filled with pens and stuff um and back here we have a lot of the art so this is a film photo that i took um this is a 
print that I got at an art fair and then we have some books over here that I was sent and of course the Olivia Rodrigo um, vinyl um, but yeah this is just like a collection of little pieces I have this really beautiful vase that I got from an antique store um, this like monstera leaf banner that my mom got me when she came and visited it's just like a really eclectic side of me that is really fun to curate and it's always fun to change up because I love like putting flush, fresh flowers in the vase and putting posters up and I love art like every time I go to an art fair or like a small business I love getting like postcards or little stickers because I know that I'm going to be featuring them in my room somewhere so yeah that's this side of the room again my favorite part of the entire room it is so nice to look at and every time someone comes in there they always just love that side so we're going to move on to this side where the radiator is and I'm going to show you a little bit of the collage wall that I've put All right. together so over on this side we have my lovely little radiator which makes the loudest high-pitched drills in the middle of winter but it gets the job done we can't really complain because it keeps me warm through the winter but I'm glad that it's like white and not like a metallic color because I feel like that would throw off the vibes of the room but anyway you guys saw me put this collage wall together and this is recently new it's because I got some art prints that I wanted to put up I got this piece from Oregon and then I got some like antique store like postcards and stuff that I wanted to put up so this is kind of just thrown together and my ideal like my kind of like you know way I do collage walls is kind of just random I kind of just see what goes I like different sizes different like colors and all that I don't really stick to a certain theme or have to make it super super cohesive I just kind of just slap them on there and hope it works so that's kind of how I put this collage wall together and I really really like it I think it's cute and fits with the theme of the room but I can also change it up in a week if I don't like it and then we have my little I think these are this is called a prayer plant I don't really know I've been trying to keep it alive and I've honestly had it for like three months now and it is I mean it's doing its job but honestly we'll see if I change it out with a another plant but let's head on over to this side where my desk is and this is my lovely air conditioner because it is currently 90 degrees and I am sweating filming this video but I'm not turning it on right now All right so this next part of the room is kind of where I spend every waking hour this is my desk work space and then right back there is my dresser so this is an Ikea table most of my furniture is from Ikea if not then it is from Facebook Facebook marketplace this chair that I'm sitting on this little like vintage um, desk chair is also from Facebook marketplace I think from like two years ago honestly um, and then I have a little lamp also from Ikea my big windows that I get a lot of sunlight in that I really love I try to keep my desk clean but most days it is just not clean and I just don't care either way I very much cleaned it for this video which is very rare because usually there's a bunch of papers strewn across there's like coffee I always spill my coffee on my desk I don't want to talk about it um, and I have pens and pencils and stickers or things I got to do I usually have my to-do list scattered all over and then you can see like remnants of like last week's to-do list um, but I like to keep everything in here and I really love this desk actually I don't really like Ikea furniture um, because it's just very like boxy but I really love this desk it has so much storage I've been able to keep so many papers in here and pens and stationery and plastic plugs and everything is like in this desk because this room has very little storage so yeah this is what my desk and my, my office space looks like and this is again where I spend majority of my time doing work and because I work remotely and on my computer and I also just love kind of sitting here it's like comfortable enough but also just like very it's like a good separation between my office space and then my bed which is right there and it you know it creates a great great transition but also keeps me from going to my bed throughout the day and this final space that I'm going to show you is literally just um, opposite of my little like library and my bookshelves and this is my dresser space over here we have my dresser which I got from Facebook marketplace it's a super sturdy and high quality dresser um, really super heavy I swear when I moved this it took like four people just to move this one thing and everything else in this house I moved myself um, but this is my little dresser and again I have like a little collection it's a little collection of things that I've collected over the years. I have this really beautiful um, jellyfish poster that I got in Oregon, um, in Newport, Oregon. And I have some like things on my dresser here. I'll do a close up, but I have my little shell antique earring holder. 
um, a mirror that I got from a PR package, this little storage caddy, which I got from like a little toy store that's definitely meant to be for kids and Legos, but I use it to hold my makeup because I think it's so cute. And then this earring, I mean, this necklace holder that I use for my clips, my sunglasses, and all my necklaces that I got from Amazon, I believe. A little picture that I actually got from my parents who sent this to me in my first year of college for my dorm and it's been with me like ever since and of course after graduating college I still keep it with me and then also something that I've had since freshman year of college is this like um, I don't know what to call it this wall hanging thingy it's like it's like where you can hang stuff but I got this in freshman year because I wanted to like put photos on it and everything and I just decided to put it in my room now because it still looks cute and it still functions to hold a lot of things with sentimental value um, like these embroidery hoops that I did a lot of the work that I've done pictures that I've taken and cards that I've received so it's just really nice to feature everything and along with this dresser I also have my closet which has all my clothes in it and my closets are like pretty Pretty deep. So yeah, that is it for my little room tour. I hope this was really cute and inspirational in some way. I watched a ton of room tour videos before I finally settled on what I liked and that is, you know, I found where to get wallpaper from YouTube videos and I saw, I clicked on links of creators who had links to like artists or certain people that sold prints and that's where I got most of my art. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and it definitely gave you some tips. I am just so grateful and happy to be in a space that feels very comforting to me but also allows me to be my best productive self and create content but also work from home because I know that's a huge um, thing especially when you're working from home I don't have a designated office space so I have to kind of make that a part of my life throughout creating my room and that was a huge part of when I was creating it is how do I draw a fine line between creating a productive space but also creating a space that I can like wind down in because I know self-care is super important to me and self-care is a huge part of my routine especially when working from home because it can be hard to kind of disconnect and tell yourself to stop working because sometimes I work really late throughout the night um, and when it's dark at night I have LED strip lights all over my room so it gives the room a beautiful like blue hue I'll drop some clips in it um, of it in this video at the end but yeah thanks for watching this video if you have any questions on where to get any of the furniture or certain decorations you saw in this video please let me know in the description but i will see you guys on my next video bye